Today we're making Duchess potatoes, which are like your fancy, cool, individual portions of like swirly, delicious mashed potatoes. Any reason to use the pastry bag, I say go for it because it makes you feel fancy. I love the pastry bag. So first we're throwing together our favorite mashed potatoes. So I boil the potatoes. Here they are ready to go um, until they're fork tender. And after I drain the water, I put them back on the stove on a very low heat to dry out the excess moisture. Right? Right. So we're going to dump our potatoes, hot and steamy, into the bowl. Hmm. All right, to this we are going to add some milk. A lot of recipes call for heavy cream or half and half, but I don't typically have those in the house and I'm not running out to buy them. So there you go, milk. We're going to put in some salt. You know, however you would normally make your mashed potatoes. And uh, we are going to put in a generous dollop of delicious creamery butter. Bloop! That looks like two to three tablespoons. Then we're going to grate in some fresh nutmeg. Do you want to see the little nutmeg? Oh, there's the little nutmeg. I was at the store the other day to buy nutmeg, um, I think to make zucchini bread, and the ground nutmeg was so expensive. Spices are just too expensive. So then I found this little package of these little whole nutmeggy, nutmeggy, nut things. And it was like 59 cents, and I think there were four or five in the package, so I thought, that's cool. Let's give that a go. So, we're going to grate some fresh nutmeg directly into the potatoes. Ah, oh, that smells so good. So, if you are using the powdered stuff and you're not grating your own, like us, like super fabulous gourmet Martha Stewart kind of people do, um, I would say to put in maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon. Now, also, you probably want to put pepper in your mashed potatoes, and if I had white pepper in the house, I'd be putting that in, but I forgot to get it the last time I went to the store. And I'm not going to put black pepper in because my kids will see the black pepper spots in the potatoes, and then they'll say, ew, and then they won't eat it because they don't think that they like pepper. So we're skipping the pepper, but you can do pepper. Alrighty. <laughs> yep, sugar. Just a tiny little, maybe like half a teaspoon of sugar. This is your secret ingredient. Your nutmeg is also your secret ingredient. Makes them just delicious. This is not standard for your Duchess potato recipes. This is standard for how I make mashed potatoes. And this is not my secret. This is Living on a Dime's secret. Living on a Dime. It's their secret. Okay, then we're going to whip them up. Alright, so there you have your light and fluffy, delicious, perfect mashed potatoes, however you like them. Now, to that, the standard would be to add three egg yolks and beat them in really, really quickly so that the heat of the mashed potatoes doesn't, you know, cook your egg yolks right away. I, because I like to do everything my way, I'm going to add three whole eggs because right now I don't have another use in mind for the egg whites. Now, obviously, I'm not going to throw them away, but I'm not really planning on making an egg white omelet or meringues or anything else right away, and I just don't want them sitting in the fridge getting weird, you know? So I'm going to put in three whole eggs, stir that in really, really fast, and then, then we get out the pastry bag. One, two, three. And I think for good measure, I will scoop out the eggshell before I mix in. There we go. Before I mix it all in. Oh, wait, there's another bit. Okay, there you go. And quit in. So we'll quickly stir in the eggs. 
will make our mashed potatoes turn a lovely yellow color. And in case you didn't know that trick, if you um, get any little bits of eggshell in whatever it is you're putting your eggs in, um, you just use another piece of eggshell to scoop it out because it acts like a magical magnet. Next, you take your disposable plastic pastry bag, snip the end off, try not to, uh, beep, 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 beep. Try not to make the hole too big because you don't want your, your little tip to slip all the way through. You use an open star tip or whatever you choose, whatever you have, whatever you want. Be careful that you don't poke a hole in your plastic bag when you're putting the star tip in. I don't know who would ever do a thing like that. Then you just proceed to put your beautiful uh, Duchess mashed potato mixture into your piping bag. Thusly. Potatoes in. And you can see over here we have um, our baking tray with some parchment paper on top and we are going to pipe the potatoes in little swirly patterns and then pop them in the oven at 375 until they have a nice golden color on the outside and they are just a really fun jazzed up mashed potatoes all right, so you just start to pipe on some little swirly shapes and all the little divots from the star tip um, create more surface area. So all of that becomes this really lovely golden crispy brown, um, you know, delicious surface. And then you have the tender, delicious, fabulous mashed potatoes on the inside. Now I also wanted to try to make these little individual duchess tots just because I thought it would be really cute. So I just want to bloop out these little mini dollops because I just feel like that would be a really cute version of a tater tot. Wouldn't it? Yes it would. So we'll make some like a long line, we'll make some a little vertical mini duchess oh yeah 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 that's what I want to do these little mini duchess bloops oh that is so cute <gasps> I know we'll do a little minis in between each one to make really good use of our space all right my little duchess potatoes are going in the oven which has preheated to 375 and and here they are after half an hour in the oven. Uh, honestly, I feel like they could go a little longer and get a little browner, but I'm just getting hungry, and I need, I, I've just, I've got to eat them. Oh, I'm just hungry. I want my dinner. I'm going to eat one of the little tiny little poof ones, because they're, oh, it comes off the paper so easily. That one's browner. Isn't that adorable? That is really good. That is really, really good. Because I know you're thinking, take a look. Look at them some more. You're thinking, well, once you've made the mashed potatoes, your very favorite mashed potatoes, why not just eat the mashed potatoes? Is it really worth going through the extra trouble to put them in the piping bag and make them fancy? Yes. Actually, I think it is worth the extra trouble because having the, the crispy exterior, oh, my God, they're so delicious. These little mini ones, I invented this. I invented these. I invented these little mini ones. Mmm. The little mini ones are so good and adorable and cute. Look at them. And they're very tasty. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely a thumbs up for the Duchess 